so we've just come out of the game here at the Brentford Community Stadium. Thanks to these guys, Paul and Chris, I've been able to go to the game. Could have been gutted if I wasn't able to. And God, it's been a brilliant day with these boys driven us down. We've had sandwiches, we've had tea, <laughs> we've had goals, and we've got three points. But what a strange game it was, oh, Chris. Unbelievable. I never known so much action and moments when you think, what's going on? Referee had a nightmare. You didn't like that referee, no, did we you? Didn't like, I knew he was going to be bad before he kicked off. And, and you might recognise Paul, who's a, a regular pundit on Extra Time. We'll be on Extra Time will be uh, Sunday night today. Paul, your thoughts on the game? Not much happened in the first half, really. I know there was the drone incident where there was a big delay. There was a big bang of heads for two Brentford players. But in terms of goal mouth action, there was next to nothing in the first half. And I said at half time, it's going to be some brilliance or a mistake that changes the course of this match. You were right. And, and that's what turned out to happen with Matinho's brilliant goal with the outside of his foot. And also their goal, you have to say, was Tony a Tony was a great strike, brilliant. great strike. Just after a, a red card and a VAR decision overturned, he was going apoplectic about that red card in the stands, weren't you? You just didn't see didn't see it as a red card. No one thought, oh, he's in trouble here type thing. Yeah, OK, it looked like a foul. But the referee... He was hungry for it when he to put that red yeah, card out. Yeah, it seemed like he didn't give himself any time to think about yeah. the situation. Made the wrong choice. Yeah, and as soon as someone gets sent to the uh, monitor to look, you know that they've been told to change Nine the line. Nine times out of yeah. ten, they're going to change the line. To be fair, I mean, the, the, the story of the game, we started quite slow. To be fair, and then as you say, there was that drone break. I mean, 19 minutes of added time. It's like the it was like the NFL with four quarters in the game. It was like crazy. 19 minutes of added time in the first half. Seven minutes of added time in the second half. We we did do better in the second quarter, I thought. Uh. And then that goal from Matinho, the link-up play, the outside of his foot. He was saying at half time, such a brilliant, absolutely brilliant strike. Um, and to be fair, I mean, Tony's goal for Brentford was a great strike as well. Yeah. yeah. But I, we no, don't normally we don't normally concede goals like that. Of whether the concentration had slipped a little bit after that red card this season. Now back into it, the Brentford fans up for about a five minute period. After that, we were kind of a little bit under the cosh, and then that goal from Neves. Um, up, we were saying he was due one. Brilliant strike, wasn't it? Yeah. Reminded me of his goal at Sheffield Wednesday, where he just lined it up on the edge of the box and passed it into the yeah. bottom left hand corner. And then Traore comes on, he scores what we think is an absolute brilliant goal. Second game running, he's like discovered how to score, yeah. score goals, disallowed for VAR. Um, but seven minutes of added time, and the ref didn't seem to want to blow. No. Um, is it the longest match in Premier League history? It's got to be. It really has got to be. Crazy. It had so much happen. I mean, the drone break. And then the referee came out at half-time. The, 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 the linesmen are out. The teams are out. The referee comes out. And then he goes off to have a cup of tea. And he comes back five minutes later. Uh, Chris, who's your man of the match? And what's your performance rating? Man of the match, definitely Daniel Pedins. I, th I thought he was everywhere. Every time he got the ball, there was nobody within 10 yards of him. He was all over the pitch, playing it all over the, every position, from the right wing to the left wing, down the middle. And no one could get near him. Um, out of ten, seven and a half out of ten, I think. Seven and a half. And yeah. Paul, your performance rating? Yeah, I'd give it a, a seven. I think we'll play better than that still this season. But in the second half, I did think we we turn the screw up on them a bit. Um, so I'd probably give it a seven. And my man of the match is probably Matinho because he's got a goal and an assist. And I think. As the game went on, he became more and more influential. So I think he's a big reason why we've won the match today. I, 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 to be honest, I've got to concur with Paul on Matinho. Sorry, yeah. I, I, I do uh, like was, Daniel Bonanza today. He was a tough up for me as well. But Matinho, um, for that touch of quality, the one-two, the outside of his foot, I mean, he's an unbelievable player. We've got to give him an extension on his contract. Got it. And he got the assist as well for yeah. the Neves goal as well. So for that reason, I'm going to give it to Joey Matinho. And I'm going to give it... A 7.75 <laughs> just because just because I can um, just for the second half performance really and coming away from home uh, having a setback uh, with the goal and coming yeah. back and then still managing to win a game that's a good point the side of a good team is when you can do that yeah. and Wolves are now played four games I think it's the first time I don't know someone will tell me in the comment section below we've won uh, three games on the bounce at the start of the season in the league for a for a while, isn't it? At the start of a new calendar year. 
and the new calendar. That's it, yeah. That's right. Someone will put that out. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Please smash a like on the video. Do you agree with that uh, analysis of the game? Uh, look out for extra time as well. And there might be a couple of sneaky goals from the Matinho and Neves. We might put them on because they were special, special goals. Yeah. Uh, I want to say a big shout out to the Brentford fans as well. Because we've come to uh, the stadium, they've been so friendly, yep. really no, welcoming. Yeah. Uh, they're a lovely club. I'm yeah. so happy they're in the Premier League, and uh, it's great to see after all the efforts that they've come in. So, if you're a Brentford fan watching yeah, this, thank you. You've been absolutely brilliant with us, uh, welcoming us all the way through, and it's just a really lovely club. And uh, you know, we hope you uh, don't have any struggles. I know you've not won in a while, but you'll. I think you'll be okay this season. Yeah. So, from myself, Paul, and Chris making their debut on the reaction. And myself, Dazzling Dave, always wolves. Always wolves.